जय बाबा चैप्टर 52 देयर वाज अ डिवोटी ऑफ बाबा बाय द नेम ऑफ अन्ना चिंचनीकर ही वाज ट्रूली इन लव विद बाबा अन्ना वाज एन इनोसेंट एंड ऑनेस्ट मैन ही वाज अ गुड एंड हंबल मैन विदाउट गाइल एंड मैनिपुलेशन ही डिड नॉट हैव अ सिंगल विकेट बोन इन हिज बॉडी of course like us all he too had his shortcomings he was very upfront he did not mince words he was very short tempered and often in anger he could truly speak harshly and did not care about the consequences for all his hot headedness he was innocence personified and baba loved him dearly one afternoon Baba was resting in the mosque. His left hand was resting on the railing and he was surrounded by all his devotees. Sometimes Baba would seem quiet and completely detached from the world and yet often he had a knack of starting some sort of squabble amongst his lovers after which he would go through great lengths to restore peace amongst them. he played his leelas for reasons best known to him devotees would usually be gathered around baba and some would be massaging him they they would press his back his legs his feet and even his stomach baba was an eternal celibate and thus you would find men as well as women pressing baba's body while he sat in prayer or was involved in some discussion or the other anna was present with his wife in the mosque that day and was pressing baba's feet he was on the left side of baba while on the right side of baba sat venu bai who was pressing and kneading baba's stomach venu bai was fondly called maushi bai by everyone a entire life revolved around baba and he referred to maushi bai as mother both anna and maushi bai were in the 50s and those days the 50s was considered to be an advanced stage life of toil showed its wear and tear on the simple villagers anna had already lost all his teeth and maushi bai too looked advanced for age Maushi bai was completely absorbed in pressing baba's stomach. She put in so much effort that she was slightly breathless. She was deep in prayer all the while chanting the name of Sai. She was kneading baba's stomach so intensely that all those who were present wondered how baba wasn't in any discomfort. She held baba's stomach with one hand and the other hand was on baba's back. and she applied so much pressure that at times baba's stomach and back looked completely merged baba accepted everybody's love the way it was given he never complained criticized or compared he accepted all with maternal love anna sat close to maushi bai and was pressing baba's feet absorbed in prayer minding his own business but with every extra pressure exerted by maushi bai her face came closer and closer to anna it was but a matter of time when both their faces would collide with each other and so it came to pass that their faces nearly touched i wonder what anna has in mind she muttered aloud is he seeking a kiss from me that he has got his face so close to mine She looked at him with a wry smile. "Aren't you too old to try and get a kiss out of me?" Anna, known for her short-temperedness, immediately went ballistic. "Are you out of your head? Do you think that I'm not only old but also crazy to want to kiss you or have anything to do with you?" Baba realized that a mighty battle was about to ensue. He looked at Anna. "Anna, Why are you getting upset? And what is so wrong if you want to kiss the mother? 
Both Anna and Maushi Bai looked at Baba and everybody, everybody began to laugh. This was Baba's way of teaching everybody who was present that the moment you see a loved one in everybody, the chance of conflict can be reduced dramatically. He always insisted that God is in all and thus to recognize oneness in all. Another day it so happened that Maushibai was kneading Baba's stomach and as usual, the woman was doing it so intensely that everyone felt as though some organ in Baba's body would rupture. A few of them who were present requested the lady to calm down and press Baba's stomach gently. Hearing these words, Baba got up, took his satka and hit it on the ground. Everybody who was present there realized that Baba was upset as his eyes blazed like fire. Then he put one end of the baton on his stomach and the other end on the pillar and then hugged the pillar so that the baton began to press his stomach deeply. The baton was nearly three feet in length and with every exertion, the baton seemed to disappear inside Baba as though the baton had gone deep into Baba's stomach. Everybody was certain that Baba's stomach would burst and they tried to pacify Baba to calm him down. After a while, Baba's temper subsided. He looked at all those who were present. Then he went back and sat down and Maushibai resumed massaging him. This sent a clear message to one and all that Baba did not like anybody criticizing others in their service to him. Baba wanted to explain to all that each one has their own special way of serving him and he accepted and appreciated each person's exclusive way of showing his or her devotion towards him. Baba was against anybody trying to judge others and their seva towards him. Each devotee's love was genuine and exclusive and Baba wanted everybody to respect this uniqueness in others. Peace be to all. May our love reach Baba, please him and be accepted by him. Jai Sai.